Okay, today's video, I'm going to explain what a dead miss is and how you could uh, find out if you have one too and, you know, the, what are the, the procedures to fixing it. All right, this is an Acura. For an example, this does have a dead miss. And what that means is that it's not a sporadic miss. The engine doesn't like every now and then go like that and shake like that, which could be ignition. It's mostly ignition or fuel. A, dis, a dead miss is either the cylinder is dead, there's no compression, a valve is burnt, cam lobes are not opening, it's not firing, no spark, no fuel uh, in that particular cylinder. That's a dead miss. Let me show you what it sounds like running. Okay, well, being that this is an Acura, it's very, I mean, you can, you can hardly tell. But look at my finger. Here you can see that my finger's shaking. Constantly shaking, you see that? And that's a dead miss. And if you have a dead miss, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on a scan tool, you would you don't wanna drive the car too much because what's happening, if it is if it's not the fuel, fuel will be pumping in that cylinder going into the catalytic converter and it can melt it and destroy it. Alright, let me stop this. And when you come inside, you'll see the check engine light. That that light's blinking. That's not a good sign. When it's blinking like that, it means you have to, you know, pull over because you're going to destroy the catalytic converter. Okay, so I got into the computer, and now we put it on the cylinder misfires. So it's number two that's doing it. Now I just want you to watch how fast it builds up when I start it. You see that one? It's just going like nobody's business. See that? How fast that is? That's a dead miss. That that cylinder is not doing nothing. Okay? Now, let me shut it off because I don't want to run it like that. So now, if you would see like every now and then, cylinder one miss, and then, you know, a couple of minutes later, another one would miss. That's a different, that's something completely different. Okay, this is a dead miss, how it, how it builds up like that. Now, when you have a scan tool and you look and you have this type, you think you have this type of problem, you do what I just said. And if you see it building up that fast, it's a dead miss. Now, there's a, a, a couple of ways you can go about uh, trying to diagnose it yourself. Uh, if you don't have a scope, and I'm not going to use that here because, you know, you just don't have a scope, so it's going to be useless. Um, is you take, let's see, it was number two, number one wasn't doing it. You take the uh, ignition coil at a number one and you put it in number two. Hopefully, it's easy to access. Then you do the whole, you watch the scan tool and you see if you see number number one is uh doing it now and not, and then num number two is not, then you know it's the ignition coil. Now, if you switch the coil and number two is still doing it, then you know it's not the coil. What you can do then. Or what you can do to, to kill two birds with one stone is you can take the spark plug out and the ignition coil. So now you know you have two known, let's say if it was number one and number two was the one misfiring. You put number one and number two and then you do the same test. Now, if number two is not doing it, then you know you got your problem. It's either the spark plug or the coil. And then what you can do, you can try to eliminate it because you don't want to keep just buying coils. You could... uh switch the coils back but leave the spark plug and see if it's the spark plug or the coil now assume that you do you do it you switch from the bad one is number two and you switch uh the the, the number one to number two and it's still doing it on number two then it could be a fuel inject it could be a fuel problem or it could be a mechanical problem I, I i have videos on how to diagnose that okay and um Right from there, because sometimes the fuel the fuel um, injectors are kind of hard to get to, you can do a compression test. You take all the spark plugs out, okay, put a charger to it, okay, Dis disconnect the uh, fuel relay so it doesn't pump fuel in the cylinders, put your foot to the floor to open up the valve, uh, the uh, throttle body, and you crank it over like one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And you look, you should have minimum 120 PSI. 
in the good cylinders, all the good cylinders. Then you check that number two cylinder. Now, if that number two cylinder has the same, has 120, and then one next to it has 122, and the other one has 119, the other one has 124, then it's not mechanical. Then it's fuel related. And chances are, if all the other cylinders are running, obviously, it's not the fuel pressure, it's probably the fuel injector. All right? And that's basically how you, how you can um, diagnose a dead miss in pretty much any type of car. All right, guys, that's just a quick video for Motor Car Nut. Uh, I'm going to probably be fixing this car and doing a video on that particular um, problem uh, sometime in the future. But uh, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions, leave them below. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. I appreciate all you guys' comments, watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye.